Dear learner, in our previous lecture, I have shown you that how we can design a slab using Excel sheet. So now we'll design a slab directly using software using FEM method, final element method. We'll not go for step based method. I always prefer to design a slab using finite element based method. So to design a slab with that, that method, I will go here. Uh, or concrete slab design otherwise go to design then concrete slab design and here view or revised preferences click here and if you need to change anything as we have discussed previously you are able to uh, change it and then go here minimum cover for slab so all it's given as per code 0 0.75 0.175 it's okay no need to change anything here at this time and design code you may able to change any design code you need then close it then after that okay it so i'm not going to change anything so cancel again i'll go here then the most important select design combo for which combo you want to design your slab i'll select all of that combo because all structural member will design using that combo as per our code I'll select it and then click okay after that the must most important select a story for design for which a story you want to design so first of all i will uh, design for story one otherwise you may uh, design for story one to ten or you may select every story available or select all every story available for design okay then click okay so when everything is okay you may able to click here concrete slab design otherwise click here start design and see what happened So you may see here all of our slab have been designed okay all of our slab have been designed now for which a story you want to go for detailing select that story then i'll click here then go to plan and let's say i want to design for a story one click apply and okay now we are seeing here uh the reinforcement required for all of our story if you come here uh what's the telling slough finite element design top river intensity in blocking inches square per feet okay so here we are getting reinforcement here we are getting reinforcement and it's actually very low reinforcement it's showing us nothing to worry about it it is giving us reinforcement and this reinforcement is for inches square per feet okay now uh we'll go uh, in details i'll click here then uh, display flex general design or uh click here display punching share so as we are not using any uh, uh we're not as we are not using any actually hmm, flat plate or flat slab so nothing to take about it then i'll go here flex general design now here we are not going to select a step base because we did not provide any step if you want to design using that method you have to provide layer here a step layer so i always prefer using finite element based method now here and impose minimum reinforcing then click apply and here you will see as per code it will impose the minimum reinforcement we required not we then uh actually nothing we need to worry about it and the software will do it automatically for us now we have four option here you have to understand about that four option if here it's telling us direction one direction two direction one top river direction on bottom river direction two top river direction to bottom river before that you have to understand what is direction actually this is local axis so how we'll find out that or how we'll understand in which direction your uh, direction one and which direction your direction two is i'll click here then i'll go here display set display option then from here object assigning click here for shell element as we're designing shell then see local like click local access and then apply and now we are seeing here every red line are showing in x direction and the uh, green line are showing in y direction so that means that red line are in 
local access sorry we have to uh, uh, we're not sure which direction are local access on or two so i'll google it i uh, i have forgotten about that here you may see for uh, from um csi america okay i mean the website from etaps it's giving us for red local access on for red and two for green and three for blue so from here we can understand in in that direction or red direction we have local access our uh, direction one and in green direction we have direction two clear is it now again i'll go here i will stop that done now i'll come here see first of all we'll go for bottom reinforcement bottom middle okay so if you click here this is bottom river for direction on and this is bottom river for direction two the both reinforcement are for bottom not for top clear is it clear to you and uh, that means uh, this one uh, direction on bottom river so uh, we will get river from that option that will give us the bottom reinforcement of direction x and uh, for that direction 2 will get river or river spacing that will be for bottom direction but for bottom oh, so, i mean uh, y y direction for bottom is it clear then when everything is okay now we'll go for the uh, top reinforcement so where will you stop reinforcement top reinforcement will also use as a extra top okay and where will provide that extra top actually will provide that extra top in top in that side and that side or that side or that side okay so for that uh same uh, direction on top river represent that direction on top river represent that uh, our uh, here a direction on top river represent that the top reinforcement in direction one and uh direction two represent top river now uh we'll go for main work actually so typical uniform reinforcing spacing below i'll go for direction one bottom i mean main reinforcement of our bottom for direction on in that direction now here i will uh, for bottom i'll select 10 mm river and i'll take a spacing as a uh, 18 let's say then click apply sorry let's click apply see if we provide if we provide uh 8 inch spacing for 10 mm river in that direction river that direction river then it's okay okay so it's done also if we go for 9 inch it's also okay. if we go for 10 inch it's also okay and if we go for 11 inch it's also okay so you may remember that as per our excel sheet our required was for that slab how much 10 point something for long duration and this is also long duration right for duration one represent the long duration okay done now we'll go for duration two for bottom and i'll click apply and we can see here we need little bit reinforcement here so i'll go here for uh, eight inch here also we need a little bit reinforcement so here i'll go for 7.5 inch and it's c see as per our excel sheet that is also required for 7.5 or something inch spacing right so if we provide or if we provide 7 inch spacing uh, 6 inch spacing for a uh, short direction all over our slab is okay right so it's done now we'll go for now remember one thing how will identify our top reinforcement how so to identify top reinforcement we all know that if i take a pen we all know that when we provide reinforcement in slab then uh, we provide on reinforcement directly listed then another reinforcement we provide as a crank bar suppose on reinforcement would go state and then another reinforcement will be crank 
like this way right same again the on reinforcement will go estate and then crank in this way so from uh, this one will be estate so this one will pass from bottom and uh, will provide that slab in top uh, okay this crank one will be in top so if we provide a spacing for short duration uh, as a six inch then from that river to that river distance will be total six plus six that means 12 inch so as it's 12 inch so our that uh, distance will be we are now we are getting our uh, spacing in top already we have provided as a 12 inch spacing now we have to check actually how much spacing we required and uh, if we are able to provide any extra reinforcement and how much we need that so i'll close it now i'll go for uh, direction to top river as direction two is short for that point and from here i'll select 10 mm river uh, let's say 12 no problem 12. now we are seeing here and here we need uh, more reinforcement i'll go for six inch apply and we we provide six inch see for that point and that point we no need any further reinforcement so what i can do and here we are seeing we need little bit reinforcement actually uh the position like that we have to ignore uh sometime because uh, we are uh, actually not able to provide the mass reinforcement we regard here if we provide here reinforcement like for um, four inch spacing also we need reinforcement here huge reinforcement we need here so we are not able to uh, minimize that option we have to ignore that yes if i uh, go for six inch so how we can solve it now say already we have provided we have a spacing from that point to that point 12 inch but we need how six inch then we'll provide another extra top in top as a 10 mm bar that's it this is the way to design our slab okay and uh, now if we go for our uh, direction one uh, direction two sorry direction on top bar i'll click apply and if we provide six inch spacing that means it's also okay so uh, f is we f uh, i mean uh, we uh, we have seen that our uh, for a long duration if we provide uh spacing for eight inch as previously so our total spacing from on top crank river to another top crank river is uh, 16 inch but we need a spacing for six inch so what we'll do uh, to provide 16 is a spacing will provide two extra top so if we provide two extra top our total reinforcement will go, total get three gap here right in four reinforcement how much gap will get here three one two and three so total spacing from that point to that point is 16 inch and if we divide that in three so it will be less than our six less than from six inch so it is okay in this way you have to design it thank you Thank you very much and if you have any question you may ask us thank you thank you very much